Hey guys, welcome to some Let's Play Team Fortress 2. Uh, I'm Mike Lott, I've made some uh, T TF2 Let's Plays a very long time ago. And I decided, why not, let's uh, redo them. And I'm going to actually start off with my favorite class, uh, Sniper. And uh, I will do this in the same way I did them before. I, you know, demonstrate all the weapons, show off some gameplay and all that kind of crap. So I'll show you one of my favorite loadouts right now. Uh, I use the Opera Hand, which is like the same, it's just a reskin of the Sniper Rifle. The default Sniper I feel is, is the best. I love it. Um, the opera just has a nice little sound, a little kick to it as well. Uh, I, I'm using the Danger Shield and the uh, I, Shishans of something, whatever. And the reason I do this is because the Danger Shield, at least on public servers, um, that I find that the plus 25 HP actually helps you a lot because uh, there's damage spread and all that. Especially when you're getting like body shot by other snipers and possibly critted by soldiers and things like that. It can actually save you. Uh, and that's why I use it. And because of the larger uh, uh, health uh, pool, uh, there's a there's a higher chance you will be underneath uh, the the 50% ratio or whatever the, that it takes for you to be uh, uh, to get that, that the bonus damage with the Shishana or whatever. Oh, I missed a soldier. That's sad. And I use a default sniper because you know what? It is honestly the best one. And this guy has no no shoes whatsoever, and, and that's basically the the justification. And I, I enjoyed this this loadout basically a lot. Uh, there's a whole lot of weapons that the sniper does get, um, and I don't really roll with any of them. I kind of just like this one because at its core, it's probably the highest DPS sniper that you'll probably get. So I'm gonna see if I can get into a nice sniper position up here. So I see I hear a. There we go. And we'll just take up this crap. There we go. And so, you know what? Honestly, uh, the way I normally play is I don't, you know, to be honest, I kind of suck with the SMG. I don't really worry about things like that. Um, get this medic. I know it's a body shot. Oops. Oh, okay. He freaked me the fuck out. Oh, oh that would be why. And I got my Uber. <laughs> Apparently. Uh,. <laughs> I don't really use the SMG all that much, and to be truthful, um, a long-standing secret of mine, I fucking suck at aiming the, the the SMG and right now the sniper rifle. I don't really know why I'm aiming like this right now. That's okay. Whoever this kid is coming right after me. Um, I don't really like aiming the SMG. It's just I find it to be a finishing off weapon at most, and I'm, I'm kind of better at the no scopes than I am anything else. Okay, I just, I just got the medic there. I unfortunately really hate sniper versus sniper, but uh, I won, so that's pretty much it. So I, I don't like the SMG, that's why I try and roll with something like uh, Jurati or the, the, the Danger Shield, to be honest. Uh, and in this case, if I'm not, if there's not going to be all in the same, in one place, the other team, then I usually ro roll with this one. So I find it to be alright. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll definitely get some other gameplay within some, some of the other things. Where are you, dumb spy? What the fuck? Fucking hell, kill this guy. It's a stupid ass melee weapon. You know, I, I normally don't melee anything, that's the problem. And uh, I got meleeed by a thing. I, I don't really melee anything, because usually what I'll do is I'll actually try and shoot everything, but it's usually when, when either something's running away from me and I wanna I wanna kill it, or Basically, I I, th I I I have more of a chance of hitting them with the melee if they're up in my face than I am. Like I don't run after things trying to melee it usually, uh, but spies are a very uh, rare case in that that in that way. Uh, but I I I do a whole bunch of other things. And, and another common question I actually get about whenever I play sniper in basically any game is like, what sensitivity do I use? And sensitivity honestly doesn't really matter that much. It's more about uh, whatever's comfortable for you. And it's and for me, what I do is like I can do a 180 degree turn really easily. It, it's really comfortable for me, and I have it so that my sensitivity is low enough though, so I can make accurate, so, accurate, intentional shots. So I'm not flailing it all over the place, hopefully. But you can see, like, I, it's it, it all comes down to like muscle memory for me. Uh, I I eventually learn like how far things go, which is why like. 
when I'm just starting to learn, uh, when, when I'm getting back into a game, I honestly have trouble with it. But, uh, that's me trying to fail at no scoping. And, you know, I'm, I'm talking about how, like, a SMG, you know, is, like, not my best thing for aiming. And then here's a pyro. Hi, medic. Can you heal me? I don't know, but you know what? Uh, I think I think more importantly than anything else, things like your mouse pad and your uh, uh, and your actual mouse are probably way more important for aiming. Is he gonna follow me in here? Probably not. Hey, look, I can be a stealth sniper. Oh well, we'll just go right here. Uh oh, I'm so dead. Oh well, okay. Well, I guess this is a good opportunity to actually switch them with some other weapons. So that's pretty much why I use these three. Um, I also have a, I don't know, I have a bunch of loadouts. I, can, I guess I can go with the railgun and SMG. Now the thing with the, um, uh, and probably like, I don't know, it doesn't really matter what you use for a melee, in my opinion. So this is more of like a, uh, finishing off the SMG thing, so I figured I can actually see my arm. I don't use melee, as I said. And the reason I kind of like this weapon, like, just for the sake of, you know, the, the visual effect that it has, that's the only reason I actually like it. Uh, it's actually probably inferior to the, re the regular sniper, it, just very slightly, and I still can't shoot through my allies. Um, it's, it is inferior, but it's not by much. Uh, well, time to run. Come get me heavy. And and there we got him. Thank you, Destruction Pyro. You are the best. Or was that even our Pyro? Normally I won't charge around corners, but in this case I'm, I'm anticipating people like that. So I might as well. So uh, there's some other questions I probably, you know, some people will have. It's just like body shots versus head shots. What should you go for? It's more, you know what, I don't think it makes body shots any less legitimate it is more of a case of when, when I am charging up I am at a disadvantage because I move very slowly if you haven't noticed and so I don't actually like you know like when someone kills with a body shot I'm like oh fucking body shot but like it's not more it's not like in a case of uh, body shots are bad it's more of a case of like it, it is it is like less skilled potentially but you know it's really not a big deal like I mean all is fair in, in love and TF2 you know so it's like who cares So, you, you know, you don't really have to care about that too much. It's not a big deal. Nice. Um. Oh. He just barely, like, went away from my thing. But don't worry, I can help this spy out. And also take his, uh, take his kill there. And there you go, sniper. So, like, the problem is, when you are charging up a body shot, you are potentially, uh, you're, you're basically, like, very vulnerable to other snipers as well as spies and scouts. And the, the sniper actually has quite a few counters at this point, and also classes also have the ability to harass him, basically. Uh, so, you know, you don't want to really be charging up body shots here. Let's go roll with something, uh, more retarded. Let's do, um, we can do, actually, the Bizarre Bargain, why not? And, uh, I'll still roll the SMG. Uh, another weapon which uh, I think is also, I think this is more inferior than even the, the, the whatever the gun is that I've called the railgun, the last one I just had, I call that my railgun. <laughs> but this one, this one I find to be even worse, uh, because you, there, there, there comes like a mentality thing where um, you want to hit all your shots so you get the charge speed. And if you intentionally don't shoot something because you're worried you're going to miss it, you miss all the shots you don't take. That's that's kind of like my mentality, and I like the little scope effect. But like that's why I, like I try and hit, like always take a shot even though I miss, I and mean, or even if it's like an impossible shot, sometimes you make it. You know, you never know. And that's why that's why I like to. That's why I don't like this one because it. I think it encourages you not to take the shot, and I think that's an automatic miss in my books. Um, I know I haven't really gotten any SMG kills or anything. We'll get some frying pan kills for sure, though. And... Oh, bullshit! Alright. 
Well, you know, as I said, not, I, I'm probably going to switch this one out right away. And unfortunately, that guy's like, uh, charged. Now, the, the other thing about being mobile and not charging your shots is that you will get to see whenever the spies are beside you. What are you, the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I missed. Not really worth my effort, because I think a pirate's just going to chase him for the next hour and a half, so... You're, you're more susceptible to spies and flanking and stuff like that, so that's why I, I don't really appreciate charging. And there you go. And there you go, I already I already me messed up my bonus. You know, I, as I said, I don't recommend malaying, but if there's a scout already in your face trying to malay you, just kind of retarded to begin with. Because Honestly, scouts should never put themselves into a situation like that. Uh, where they are, like, malaying, like, because then it gives me the opportunity to malay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, it's the same guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know why I ever stopped playing this game. This game's hilariously fun. Uh, but yeah, so this is this this is not really a good weapon. I'm gonna die pretty much when I uh, when I die. I'm gonna switch it out. I, I honestly wouldn't recommend it because it's like it's even it's hard even for the best snipers to make headshots that often and to keep those heads. You know, you'd have to be aiming for just like the slowest targets, basically. And I, I can't I can't agree with that at all. See there, I just took a body shot and just took away my counter. So and it's a scout. What do you expect me to do? Honestly, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna not take the shot on a on a on a scout when I get the opportunity. It's like it's a kill. Kills a kill. That's it. As much as I'd love to keep my uh, headshot counter up, uh, you know, it's just not not a great idea. What else do I got? I got the Hitman's Heatmaker. Uh, you know, I might as well use that, Jurati, and uh, now there's actually a good, an interesting bon bon uh, vulnerability here. You get a you get 20% fire vulnerability, and apparently my model was just completely disappeared. The 20 now that's always a really interesting. Uh, that's always a really interesting kind of like a downside you, you'd think though, but it's actually really one-sided because it basically goes like um, You with when it comes to versus pyros if they're right up to you chances are you're gonna die anyways It just doesn't it doesn't really work And here I'm gonna just toss it to Roddy in I'm missing every shot Yeah, that one was fairly obvious, but he's probably dead ringing, which means we just kind of wait for him to come back. There you go. I, I get a lot of spy kills with, with my sniper. What can I say? Okay, and here we can get now the bonus, and I don't like this bonus either, to be perfectly frank. Because it is putting me in like a pl it's put it puts me in a situation where I could get shots really fast, but I likely just die. Like that's usually just what happens, because it's just like you can't. There's no way you can expect to to survive when you're just in that 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 huge like little thing. Here we go. Now we're getting the faster charging. This is you know if there was a time that this would be useful, it would be right now. Oh, the spy went right in front of me. Come on, we need we need more kills. See, that's what I mean. It's just it's kind of wasted, uh, and I probably would I, I prefer not having it because I would prefer honestly having because um, I can make the shots pretty quickly anyways. Like it's it has to be very situational. You got to be really lucky. But you know, every once in a while, I'll just toss the rod in. So against the fire, yeah. So you know, if a pyro gets up to you, anyways. You're probably dead already as it is, um, and if you're not, then you know it's it's as I said, it doesn't really matter the disadvantage. And against like the flare gun, sure you'll take more damage when they flare you once. If they flare you twice, the new crit thing, it's it's you dead. You're dead anyways, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, got him! Now I've seen him like a thousand times already. The best spy I've ever seen. 
beauty. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Am I going to get another kill? Probably not. I bet that spy is now going to be kind of more uh, onto me now. So, uh, you know, it's like, as I said, I, I wouldn't concern myself too much with it. And uh, against, like, uh, you know, there's that, that Razorback, and I never, ever use it. In fact, it's probably the only sniper achievement I don't have, which is the one where you, uh, um, the, the one where you get backstabbed and then you kill the spy. It's because I never use it. And the reason for that being, um, when it actually first came out, it was actually interesting. It had an 85% movement penalty. And the penalty kind of really sucked. Like, why would you ever use that, like, in that case? It just didn't make sense. Um, oh, damn it. And I'm missing now all my shots. And it was like, it was a terrible, terrible penalty to begin with. I killed him at least. Like, it's, and, but they, but, you know, they decided that removal of the, uh, uh, remo removal, okay, he killed me. Removal of the SMG was enough, but it was like 85%. Like, that's how much Valve actually is terrified of snipers. Absolutely terrified. It's ridiculous. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use something else. Uh, let's go to something shitty. Let's go to the, uh, the Sydney Sleeper. Actually, you know what? I, I would think that maybe, you know, having an SMG would be good with that, and then the Bushwhacker in case they come up to me. Let's do that. And I... There we go. I have it now. So, um, this is the what I call the piece of shit sniper. Um, this is probably the worst thing they could have possibly added to the game. Uh, if you're if you're playing sniper and you're not going for headshots, you shouldn't be playing sniper because uh, that's that's really you've just removed like the the class's primary strength uh, for like for like the ability to body shot a little bit more effectively because it charges a little bit faster. Sure, it's a team weapon. Sure, but you know I'm I'm not really into it. Hey, medic. You know, I probably could have killed that medic if I had, uh, not been body shotting. But, you know, as I said, I'll, I'll get you fucking everything, like, except for the Razorback, because that's just, I, I absolutely refuse to use that on, uh, on the basis that it's a piece of shit. I didn't actually see that guy. So the, uh, the SMG can be kind of good, like, I just wish I could aim it better. Because I seriously can't. It's just not good. So, yeah, the thing is, like, you miss the ability to get crits all the time. And Sniper versus Sniper also becomes very questionable. And I, I wish I could shoot that guy and put him out. <laughs> I just shot another Sniper with this stupid piece of shit. Yeah. And I, I can only imagine how terrible Sniper versus Sniper is with this. Damn it missed. I hope that guy is on our team. The bomb, legs. Oh, and they have a sniper on their team. Guess what? You got body shot. <laughs> hey, hello, crit rockets. I don't know. It's just, it's not great. Uh, you know, it's, if you have aim, you're probably going to be successful anyways. Oh, wow. That's a cool backstab animation. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too into it. Damn it! And I wish I had like a heal ability or something like that um, to give to my. You know, like like drop Jurati and they drink it. You know, that would be kind of nice. Uh, dis although disgusting at the same time. And so over here we can just keep shooting. This is probably the worst weapon to have for this because once I put them with Jurati, I'm all all I'm doing is crippling them, but I'm not really gonna follow up with anything. So yeah, anyways, back, back on the, uh, back on the, uh, what's we call it, uh, the Razorback and why it's a stupid piece of shit, um, the thing is though, in the same update, uh, they gave the Spy the Ambassador, which pretty much, uh, like, it, it counters the Razorback in every way possible, why, no, I don't want to use this thing, let's use something else, let's, uh, let's use the, the Huntsman, there you go, uh, I don't even know why I have this, let's put on the, um, Frying pan. There we go. Okay, this is another piece of shit. But, the, but anyways, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, the 
uh, what's it called? The Razorback. Because they added the Ambassador, and that, like, all you have to do is get one headshot on a standing still sniper that isn't expecting it, and you follow up with a body shot with your pistol. And that's it. You win. Yeah, he's got his little thing. We're gonna just pretend not to know he's there. Oh god, I'm, I'm so oblivious. Let's go. Oh yeah, he, he took out, he took all this uh, ammunition here. Yeah, this thing, it's like, it's like, it's a projectile weapon, which, uh, it's terrible, it really is. Because it's a, it's, it uses the whole projectile physics and stuff, but you're supposed to, there you go, I hit him, and now I got crits with my thing. It, like, they're both awful. I figured that this is, this is compliments the Huntsman, because it, you get to finish off shit. But you're basically, what you're doing is, it, they gave basically, the, the sniper was one of the only classes didn't have something you could just spam into uh, choke points. And this is what they added to it, and it's not an aim weapon at all, it's not for aiming. And that's pretty much why it's pointless. Um, and as I said, if you want to play, uh, if you want to play something with projectile spam, play the fucking soldier. Soldier is superior in every way to a Huntsman. Cause like, I'm just barely because you get the explosive- explosiveness when you, uh... I- I got everyone dominated almost. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna get out of there because I saw the sentry there. It's just- yeah, you know, it's- it's a fire and forget weapon, granted. But it's not a very useful one. That guy, that guy is so dead ringing. And that was a backstab, according to the game. Nice. But anyways, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to use piece of shit weapons anymore. I think I'm quite done with that.